Hello everyone, I have got the Sophia Grace Dream Box today and in this video I'm going to reveal the contents. So if you haven't received yours yet and you like a surprise then don't watch any further. But if you can't wait and you love to see what goodies you've got in store then stay tuned. So the Dream Box is a monthly released box and as you can see by the logo here there is a sneak peek of what the theme is. You can just see the pattern in the text. There is a choice of two different boxes. You can either pick the standard box, which is £13, in which you get three full A4 sheets of their in-house printed leatherette, one sheet of complimentary glitter, two beautiful matching embroidery items digitalised by Sophia Grace, or in the deluxe box, which is what I have here for £27.50, you get seven printed leatherettes one complimentary glitter and four embroidery items and they all match and complement each other and the prices include free first class shipping and you can subscribe if you prefer with a prepaid plan and in that you pay for three monthly boxes which auto renews but you can cancel at any time. You get a little printout of what you've got in your box so obviously I've got the deluxe box and this tells you a breakdown of the prices and if you make your bows and they sell well or you want to make more you can use a special code for 10% off all of the items in this collection and this code is valid for a week or two after you get your box. So in this bag here are my embroidery items. I'm just going to set those aside for now and I'm going to flip this over so we can have a look at the fabrics. And the leatherette that you get in this box, as you can see, is a really lovely thickness. There is no need to back it. It will hold a gorgeous shape. These are very good quality prints. Our first one here is a gorgeous floral print. And our next one here, you've got some leaves and flourishes on there. We have this ladybug one. And as you can see, it has got the same print in the background as this one here so these would go beautifully together if you wanted to pair those up and the next one are these gorgeous little snails and like little dragonflies would you say they are and again these complement they go well with the fabric here because you've got the leaves and the flourishes in the background and then you've got this butterfly and caterpillar one and again, the prints are carried over, so you've got the leaves and the flowers like you've got in the other ones here. And then you've got this gorgeous fuzzy bumblebee print with flowers and the leaves again. And then this one here has got a combination of all the bugs on there. You've got the caterpillar, the snails, the ladybugs, the butterflies, all of the different insects on there, as well as the flowers and the leaves. And then the one piece of complimentary glitter and it is like an icy white colour. It is beautiful, it really sparkles. And again, this is a very good quality glitter. It's a lovely thickness. Again, no need to back this. So it they help. are all of the different prints that we have. I will just lay these out so you can see them and then we'll have a look at our felties and see how they match up to these fabrics. So in this bag here are my felties. I'm just going to take them out and show you them one at a time. So our first felties here are these embroidered daisies. And as you can see, they go really well with these prints here with the flowers on. You've got the daisies in the background and also this floral one. So they're the first two felties. We've got these daisy pika bows and these are basically cut into like a little triangle at the bottom so you'll cut around the felty and then you can slot this triangle piece in the bow either at the side or the top so that the daisy is just peeking out from the side or the top of the bow so these are really cute and this one as you can see is on a glitter background how cute is this one this is connie the caterpillar and as you can see this felty is in two halves so again you can have this sticking out either side of the bow you can make it look like he's coming out from the bow underneath and his tail is coming out from the top you can really play around with these and get creative and he matches these fabrics perfectly as you can see he's been specially made to complement these fabrics the next one this has to be my favorite this is Bertie B our fairy friend and you get the bee's body felty you get the wings and this piece of fur 
which you can attach to his body so he's like a proper little fluffy bumblebee and these wings are actually on a water soluble background i'm not sure what the actual finished wings are going to look like but it says on the slip you put this under running hot water until it's not sticky anymore and the yeah the background is basically soluble so i'm not sure what this is going to look like when i've done that because i am actually new to felties i've never actually worked with felties before but I will do videos showing you all of these later on in the week. So do keep an eye out on my channel. And the last one I've got to show you is this big one here. And this is actually to make a bow holder. And this is Bella the butterfly. So you basically cut this out and then you add some ribbon to the bottom to clip your bows onto. And again, this one has got a gorgeous glittery background. So here we have all of the content from my dream box this month, which is the Garden Critters theme. I will pop a link to it in the description below so you can check it out. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. And then you can keep an eye out on my channel to see what I do with all of the gorgeous contents of the dream box. I'll be back again soon. Bye.